Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. flowers oh, and it fit my budget too I didn't pay a penny for them I just went out in the garden and picked them and oh they're beautiful and they oh they smell so good too <laughs> oh oh my goodness where did that come from oh, maybe I'm catching a cold oh, oh hello there welcome to Grandma Kitty's house and I'm Grandma Kitty of course I, I was just admiring some flowers I just picked from my garden but achoo! Oh, suddenly, I, I just can't seem to stop sneezing. Excuse me for just a moment. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. There, I feel a little bit better now. Oh, oh now, okay, now what were we talking about? Oh, oh yes, the flowers that I picked from my garden. Yeah. Achoo! Oh, my goodness. I just can't stop sneezing. Oh, now my eyes are starting to water. Oh, oh dear. Well, uh, you know, I think maybe we should just read a story and, and maybe I can just pull myself together. Oh, oh, look at this. I have a, a story here. It's very appropriate. It says, reading makes you feel good. Oh, maybe it will help me to feel better. Oh, I, I certainly hope so. <laughs> oh, so this is reading makes you feel good and it was written by Todd Parr. So let's read that together, shall we? Oh, it says, reading makes you feel good because you can imagine you are a brave princess or a scary dinosaur. And the princess is saying, help, help, save me. And the dinosaur is going, grrr. Oh, it says, you can learn about cool places and people. And this says, book reports are due Friday. And the sign says, be who you are. Do your best every day. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we have. You can make a new friend. Yes. And you can do it anywhere, right? Anywhere there's a book, right? Reading makes you feel good because you can learn how to make pizza. So you can learn from a recipe book. Look on the shelf, he has flour, worms and hot sauce. <laughs> I do not have worms in my kitchen. <laughs> you can find your favorite animal at the zoo. There's all kinds of books about zoos. And you can make someone feel better when they are sick. See, she's reading to the boy who's sick in bed. It looks like maybe he has the chicken pox. <laughs> you can travel to faraway places. And you can do it anywhere, right? Anywhere there's a book, right? Reading makes you feel good because you can do it all by yourself. Oh my goodness, look at all those books all over the place. So much reading to do. You can learn how to take care of your pet. He's learning about ducks and how to care for them. You can follow signs on the road, right? If you can read, you can read the signs on the road. You can share a book with anyone. And you can do it anywhere. This is the bookmobile and the books say, I love my pig, book of bugs, and I am a fish. Reading is important. When you read or when someone reads to you, it helps you learn and discover new things. Curl up with someone special and read a book. You'll feel really good. Love, Todd. And he's the man who wrote the book. Oh, well, there. Oh, I do think I feel a little bit better. Did you like that story? Yeah, I like that story. And you know, Grandma Kitty is always telling you about the importance of reading books. Just so much you can learn from reading a book. Achoo! Oh my goodness, I'm still sneezing. Oh dear, well, what on earth is making me sneeze? Maybe I'm allergic to something. Oh, 
Oh, well, look at my poster here. It says, it's allergies, and these are all different types of allergies. And, and this looks like a fun poster, doesn't it? Bright and colorful, yeah, but if you've ever had allergies, you know it's no fun, is it? No, no. So, so oh, oh, I have a booklet here. It says, all about allergies. Well, let's read that together and see. Maybe, maybe I can figure out what's going on here. Maybe I can figure out if I am allergic to something. Oh, so the, the first one here is a pet allergy. And this is like you're sitting on the couch and your cat or your dog jumps up and sits beside you and you're just sitting there petting them and you're enjoying spending time with them and suddenly so you, you just start, you start to sneeze. Your, your nose starts to run and your eyes turn to water and, achoo, and you start sneezing and guess what? You're allergic to Rover. Oh my goodness, that's, that's so sad because no one wants to be allergic to their pet. Pets are supposed to bring joy and happiness, not sickness and misery, right? It says that it might help to stay away from your pet, but oh, that is so sad, yeah. Oh, it also says you could take Benadryl or an allergy medication. Oh, maybe that would help. Well, Grandma Kitty doesn't have any pets, so I don't think that's what my problem is today. <laughs> Okay, oh, this is a drug allergy. Oh, this is an allerg allergic reaction to a medication that your doctor might have prescribed. It could be a skin rash or itching. You, you might break out with hives, which are uh, kind of like red bumps all over the place. And you might have a, a runny nose, like, like Grandma Kitty does. <laughs> or it could be as severe as trouble breathing and you might end up in the hospital. Oh, that would be very scary, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's hope that never happens to you. Yeah, If you have an allergy to a drug, they'll put a note in your chart at your doctor's office so they'll make sure they never give you that medication again. Yeah, and oh, it says also for drug allergies, Benadryl might help. Yeah, yeah. So, Hmm, I did not start any new medication today, so I don't think that's what Grandma Kitty's problem is. No, I don't think so. Oh, insect allergies. Oh, I, I don't really like bugs, do you? No, but we've talked about this before, haven't we? How bugs have a purpose. Yeah, I just wish they wouldn't bite. Yeah, I mean, it's just not very nice of them to bite, but I guess they're just trying to protect themselves. <laughs> Achoo! Now, 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 it says that it can be a very dangerous situation for people who are allergic to insect bites. Yeah, so, so most of the time when insects bite us, it, we just get a, an itchy bump, right? And oh, that can really drive you crazy. It just doesn't want to stop itching. But for some people who have really bad reactions, their, their tongues might swell up or, or their lips or their throat. And, and like the drug allergy, you could have trouble breathing and end up at the hospital, yes. Oh, oh, this is that some people have to carry EpiPens. What's that? N not a regular pen that you write with. No, an EpiPen kind of looks like a pen, but it's got medication inside. And, and when you inject that medication in, it helps the muscles in your body to relax so that you can breathe better. And that's really good because it's, it's really important to breathe, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah. Well, well thank goodness that's not Grandma Kitty's problem today. I, I just have a, a sneezing problem and, and a bit of a runny nose. <laughs> Oh dear, okay, let's see what else we have here. Oh, oh, a latex allergy, hmm. Do you know what latex is? Do you know when you go to an appointment and the doctor or the nurse, they wear gloves? Well, those gloves are made out of latex and some band-aids and balloons even are made from latex and some shoes or rubber bands or, or toys, so, it, it says if you have a latex allergy, you should avoid touching things made with latex. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Ah, chew! It, it definitely would make sense, doesn't it? So uh, if you touch something made from latex or, or like you wear a band-aid, you might get red and itchy and it, it might swell up and that would tell you that you have a latex allergy. Yeah. Oh. And you can also take Benadryl for this one, too, yeah. So it sounds like the best treatment for a latex allergy, though, is to try not to touch anything made with latex. Well, Grandma Kitty did not touch anything made from latex, so, and I'm not red and itchy, so I really don't think that's my problem today, no. So let's see here. Oh, a food allergy. Th this is a big one, yeah, because there's several foods that can cause an allergic reaction. Can you guess any of them? No. 
Did you say peanuts? Yes, you probably learned that at school, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yet some schools don't allow foods that have peanuts because some kids are allergic to them. Yeah. Another common food allergy is milk or dairy products. Yeah, that's called lactose intolerance. And that's very sad. Do you know why? Because it means no ice cream. <laughs> Grandma Kitty would go nuts if she couldn't eat ice cream. What's that? go peanuts yeah. yeah and if i was allergic to them too well then i would really be in trouble yeah well people with lactose intolerance they they might not be able to eat things like cottage cheese or or um any cheese or any milk products but you know they do have substitutes now so so that that would be helpful yeah but i guess if we can eat dairy products we should really be thankful shouldn't we yeah oh and another thing that people might be allergic to is eggs or, or shellfish like lobster or crab and and it says that sometimes food allergies um, don't start until you're an adult i guess suddenly your body decides when you become an adult that it doesn't doesn't like that food anymore. <laughs> well, let me think. I, I haven't tried any unusual foods today. And, and by my age, I guess my body has probably already decided what it likes and what it doesn't. Too late to change its mind now. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear me. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, a mold allergy. Oh. This one is disgusting. It sounds gross, doesn't it? Oh, just the thought of it makes me want to s <laughs> sneeze. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, do you know what mold is? It's a fungus that grows in damp areas. What's that? Can it grow inside your house? Oh, yes, it can. It can, and it's black and disgusting. Yeah. This is like other allergies. It can cause sneezing, runny nose, cough, watery eyes, itchy eyes, and even hives. Oh, that just does not sound like fun, does it? No, no. But, but you can use... Uh, different medications, nasal sprays, even an allergy shot to help you, yeah. Do you know what causes mold? Well, like with the other allergies, your, your body is overreacting to something and it's trying to wash it out and that's why your nose is running or, or it's trying to sneeze it out or cough it out. It just wants to get it out of your body. Yeah. What's that? What causes mold to grow? Oh, well, it's when something is too wet. Like if you have a leaky pipe in your basement and it gets too wet or, or you have some flood damage. Yeah, no, it, it's not from a lack of housekeeping. It's not because you have a dirty house. No, 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 not at all. But, but no, um, no, I don't think that mold is my problem today. Oh, oh, a pollen allergy. Oh, it says this one is seasonal and that it only happens when pollen is in the air. Like trees or bushes or grass or even flowers. Oh, flowers can trigger allergies. Hmm, I did just pick these flowers. Let's see what else it says. Hundreds of plants release pollen. So in the spring, trees like oak and birch, cedar and pine, oh, they all produce pollen. <laughs> Oh, and I know that pine does bother me, but, but it's not spring, so let's see. Oh, ragweed. It says ragweed is probably the most common trigger for allergies in North America, but I haven't been around any ragweed, but let's see what it says about flowers. It says flowers like chrysanthemums, daisies, lilies, and goldenrod all produce allergy-causing pollens. Oh dear, oh my. Do you know what kind of flowers I picked? <laughs> I picked a chrysanthemum. <laughs> I picked lilies. I picked goldenrod. And I picked daisies. I'm true. Oh my goodness. I think we just figured out what Grandma Kitty's allergy is. <laughs> well, they are beautiful, but they have got to go, you know? Maybe I can just put them outside on the porch and I can look at them through the window. But I think for right now, I've got to get some distance. I'll just... I'll just tuck them under the table and maybe they won't bother me so much. Oh, oh dear. Oh my goodness. I, I think maybe I'm feeling a little bit better. Yeah. 
yeah. Oh my goodness, I think maybe it was the flowers. I think it was the pollen. I must have a pollen allergy to those flowers. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, thank goodness we figured it out. Well, now it's time to move on to move and groove. So I brought the get down song today. Yeah, I have a little bit of trouble with this song because it really makes your knees work. And sometimes I'm afraid I'm gonna get down and not get back up. But you know, I thought it was an appropriate song for today because sometimes when we get sick, maybe with allergies or cold and, and we get down you know we just don't feel like getting back up but you know we have to get back up right so I hope Grandma Kitty does okay with this so hop up off that couch remember that our hearts were made to beat and they are happy when we're getting exercise so hop up off that couch and join me let's see what we have here up again oh I have trouble with that part in the middle cuz I'm afraid I'm gonna get down and not get back up that happened one time yes and my grandson had to help me back up oh my knees are just not what they used to be no okay so it is time to check our bee basket and remember that our bee bag those are the things we want to be right okay so let's see what we have in here Oh, I like this one. This is a very good bee. Look what it says. It says, be encouraged. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Do you know what it means to be encouraged? Well, it means to be full of hope and inspired to do things. Oh, here, let me show you this. This is encouraged, all right? So there's a word hidden in here. So if you cover up the E N and the D, can you see what word that is? It says courage, doesn't it? Yeah, so when you're encouraged, it gives you the courage to do the things you need to do, yeah. Do you know what the opposite of encouraged is? Oh, I'll show you. It's discouraged. <laughs> I don't like to be discouraged, do you? No. When you're discouraged, you just feel like giving up. Yeah, you, you just kind of lose all your courage. You lose all your courage and your enthusiasm and you just don't feel like doing anything. No, so it's important to be encouraged. So do you know how we can keep ourselves encouraged? Oh, I've got some encouraging quotes here. Let me show them to you. Oh, this one says, be beautiful. Oh, we've talked about this before, right? We talked about how it isn't all about necessarily how you look, but how you act too. So you can be beautiful by being friendly and polite and happy and helpful and then 
People will think that you're a beautiful person just because of the way you act. How about this one? Never give up. Oh, I like this one. Just keep trying. I mean, what happens if you give up? Will you ever win? No, because quitters never win, right? Will you ever, will a runner ever win the race if they quit? No, they won't. They have to just keep practicing and trying harder, right? And then maybe next time they'll win the race. How about this one? You are special. What's that? You don't feel special? Well, you are. You are very special. Everyone has something special about them. And there's a lot of special things about you. So, so just when you're feeling down, and when you get down, just remind yourself that you are special and just get back up and then be encouraged. Yeah. So, oh, I like this one too. Think positive. Yeah. Do you think you'll go far in life if you have a bad attitude? No. If you have a bad attitude and you gripe and complain about things all the time, well, you probably won't have a lot of friends because people don't like to hang out with negative people. But if you think positive and you have a positive attitude and you keep yourself upbeat, well, you'll feel a lot better about life. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. One day at a time. Oh, I like this one. You know, all you can do is what you can do, right? I mean, there's only so much you can do. So just take life one day at a time. And, and remember that if today isn't going well, well, you know, there's tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow will be a better day. So just take life one day at a time and do all, all you can, right? And I have some other sayings here that are said by well-known people. So this one says, happiness is a warm puppy. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Do you know who said this? Charles Schultz. He's the man that created, that made Charlie Brown. Yeah, and puppies do bring a lot of happiness, don't they? What's that? unless you're allergic to them. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. If you're allergic to puppies, they would not bring a lot of happiness, would they? No, no, no. That would be very sad. But, you know, if you're not allergic to them, puppies can bring a lot of happiness. Yeah. Oh, and I don't know who said this one. But this one says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> now that's having a positive attitude. That's thinking positive, right? Yeah. So instead of sitting around and thinking that you got nothing but a bunch of sour old lemons, well, turn them into lemonade. Add some sugar and water and ice and make yourself a nice refreshing drink. Yeah. Oh, just don't focus on the bad part of life. Focus on the good stuff and what the good things that you can make out of life. Yeah. Oh, and I do not know who Don Cardin is, but he had a really cute saying. This is what he said. Without ice cream, there would be chaos and darkness. Isn't that cute? I don't know that there would really be chaos and darkness if we didn't have ice cream, but I do know that ice cream does bring happiness. Yes, it does. What's that? Unless you're allergic to it. Oh, yes, my goodness, you guys really paid attention today, didn't you? Yes, if you have a food allergy to milk, oh, then ice cream would not bring you much happiness. I'm glad you paid attention today. All right, how about this one? When things go wrong, don't go with them. Do you know who said that? <laughs> Elvis Presley. I like this one. It means to focus on the good things and don't let the things that go wrong drag you down. Don't follow that road and sit around feeling sorry for yourself. No. How about this one? Whatever you do, or whatever you are, sorry about that, whatever you are, be a good one. <laughs> do you know who said that? Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. So that just means that uh, just work hard at what you want to be. Yeah. Remember that, that, um, you just got to give it your best shot. So if you want to be a teacher, be a good teacher or, or be a good firefighter or, or be a good construction worker or a good nurse. Just give it your best effort and try your hardest and be the best that you can be. Grandma Kitty used to say that, right? Oh, now how about this one? Believe in yourself. Who says that one? <laughs> Grandma Kitty does, right? This is Grandma Kitty saying, yeah, just remember that you have a lot of good things inside of you. So you need to find out what they are and go for it. Yeah, figure out what your talents are and use them to make the world a better place. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know if you noticed, but my sneezing and my runny nose stopped when I moved the flowers. Yeah. 
yes, I think must be I have a pollen allergy. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to leave the flowers outside, or, or the ones that produce a lot of pollen anyway, outside, and I'll just have to enjoy them through the window. Yeah, yeah, so, well, I hope you never have to suffer from allergies, but if you do, be encouraged. Yeah, there are medications out there that can help you, yeah. So no matter what allergy you might have, you might need to see your doctor, but they probably can find an allergy medication that can help you. So remember to be encouraged, Jen. Think positive, take one day at a time, never give up, and always believe in yourself. Yes, well, I think that about does it for today. You take care, stay healthy, safe, and happy, and Grandma Kitty will see you next time. Bye-bye.